is going on, guys? Wiser here, bringing you the recap of the last war for Invicta. Uh, it was against uh, another fair play war clan, Exodias Exalted, and uh, these guys were good. They uh, really brought the heat and actually ended up coming away with the victory. So, congrats to Exodias Exalted on an amazing war. You guys rocked it. Uh, unfortunately, Invicta fell slightly short. Uh, these two stars could have made a world of difference for us. So, we kind of struggled with those 11s. Um, because really other than that, all the nines got cleared, you know, so, um, not really a lot of bully attacks from what I saw, but it is what it is. <clears throat> uh, so let's just jump right in here and check out a few of these replays because there's some nice attacks in here. I definitely want to show you guys, uh, start off with Justin's hit here on their number six and their top ten all nine. So Justin brings uh, kind of a queen charge in here um, that turns into a walk. Uh, so all he does is opens up this compartment you're going to see, lets the queen in here. Uh, I don't know if he wanted it to stay in here, but it, ended up, it ends up walking back out of this compartment and up and around, and then he closes it off and enters there. So it, it really worked out. I have a feeling you're going to see in a moment. Da, 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 da. These queen charges. There goes the rage. He's gonna get all this stuff, and then it goes back up and out here. Get this army camp. So I don't know if he meant to do that, but it worked. It's genius if he did, because it comes back up and around. Now it's gonna enter in. Uh, Hound comes out, so stalls things up a little bit again. It's just taking forever, but. You can kind of do that now. So the other rage goes down to help uh, just rip through the rest of this hound. I kind of hate having to do that. Um, but for the sake of time, I think you're better off doing that. Um, I guess depending how your spell composition is looking. But um, I don't know. I'm still kind of on the fence whether or not I should drop a rage for the hound or just let her beat through it um, and save the rage for something a little more uh, dangerous or high value. So like 20 minutes later into the raid, finally goes the golem entry. Down goes the king. A few more wizards create that funnel. Queen is going to join up here in one sec as soon as that arch tower goes down. Genius part about that too is it's going to force everything, all the golems down. Nothing's going to stray off to the side there. Um, and look, 41% like of this base is done before the kill squad even goes in, which is pretty freaking awesome. King's untouched at this point. Uh, just going to start ripping through this Tesla Archer Tower, right? There's a lot of meat in this compartment they're in right now. So it's just taking a long time. And this is what I'm saying. Like, might have been better to have the rage here for all of those troops to rip through this stuff as opposed to using it on the hound. Right, it's the same time difference. Like you, you had to beat through that stuff without a rage. So if you had beat through the hound without a rage and had, uh, but had all your troops affected by it, might have got a better value out of the rage. But that, that's just things I'm thinking of. DGB goes off, takes care of some bacon, but he saves just enough once it is done to finish off the rest of this base. I'm gonna see in one sec. Sorry, I'm not zoomed out all the way. <clears throat> really, there's just Tesla, a couple cannons to go. That giant's doing a little bit of tanking too, which is nice. Everything's moving in. Still has the ability and on his king and queen. Uh, two swag poisons because of the hound. Swag wall breaker. Love it. Very nice attack, Justin. This is the craziest queen charge walk I've ever freaking seen. Three stars in the back. All right, sorry. They're my family, I don't know if you guys can hear, my family's going crazy upstairs. <laughs> Might not be able to, but I definitely can. Um, moving down the chains. Check out kickbacks going in on number 11. This guy does a really good job. Um, to me, this is like, it's almost like a ring base still. It's just a good, a better ring base, I should say. Um, but if you see, you know, everything kind of just connects equally in a, in a sense. I don't know. I don't know the way to put it, but, um, you can jump over one, two, three, four, five, six, definitely jump over, uh, any of these mounts into the core. And then there's this really big meaty core with both heroes. Um, so not the, not the greatest base design here, in my opinion. 
um, because you can just do exactly what Kix is doing here, just flood a bunch of Valks, flood everything in, take care of the CC, drop a heal, take care of those Valks. They're going to rip through all of this stuff here. And then you just sprinkle hogs in from the outside, right? Like such a big meaty part of the base gets taken on by these Valks. It's even getting tanking. Like look, the Tesla and the Expo are getting tanking. And the Valks and everything, when the hogs are in there, just ripping through stuff. There's a cannon, a mortar. Yeah. He didn't even need that heal kickbacks. Nice freaking job. Just wreck this base. Oh, that bomb almost got you there. <laughs> it wouldn't have mattered though. Kickbacks. Three stars in the bag. Nice job. Number 12. Mr. Big Dog. Must be a newer addition to Invicta. Uh so welcome my friend to wiser's recaps uh i like this because one of my favorite things is when people just decide you know what i'm just going to shatter lalo this um okay, he's going to open up a wall here he's going to drop a jump spell right in between these air defense now the thing i was worried about i was very surprised he actually gets both air defense here just because of all of the uh high hit points in here plus the hound comes out right uh, one thing, uh, one mistake you made there, uh, big dog, in my opinion, that rage spell, your queen has not been standing in it at all. She finally steps up for like a second, but the rage is about to wear off, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, down it goes. So she does get a little bit, but for almost the entire time that rage was down, she wasn't in. Make sure you get that queen in there. Um, but see that golem wander up to that as air defense and takes it down by himself when he explodes. That uh, that was kind of a lucky aspect to this raid, but if you look at where the jump placement is, the only thing was connecting with the two air defense, so um, really good placement there, right? Finally, that town hall goes down, so he rages up the queen, finished ripping through all that high hit points, but all the air attacks are already in. It's got uh, two hounds now burst, uh, triggers a, a black mine with his balloon, which isn't very good. It ends up losing those couple of balloons over there, but no big deal because he's got a bunch more coming in under the rage. Down goes the air defense. Just needs to take care of the Wiz Tower, Expo, and that is it for this base. Oh, I like the air skellies. See, those can be pesky. Very, very pesky if you use them in the right spots. Um, the nice part was those air skeleton pop the hound. Um, now, because that balloon took the black mine instead of the hound, it was still alive, but the air skellies ended up popping it. The perfect time. Nice job. Three stars in the bag for Big Dog. Oh, 13. Yeah. Good old life. Brings a nice... Uh, uh, Shattered Govaho here <clears throat> just goes in at this uh, kind of 7.30 to 8.30 entry. Uh, I really like this. Going to open up this with wall breakers. Jump over this section here. Going to get a really, really kind of big because the because of this L-shaped compartment and where the jump placement is going to go. He's going to get a big piece of this base open once all these valves go in. So this is nice and patient. Waits for that CC to come out. Lock onto the golems. Poison goes down and then come the valves. And any second, there's the king. Valk's coming behind. Jump spell is about to go down as well. Bam, there she is. Um, just this base does not stand a chance as long as the spells are on point. Here goes the heal. I would have pushed it up just a little bit, but hard to critique that. Um, all the Valks are getting great healing right now. Everything's going to jump in, smack down that queen in two seconds, take care of the Tesla farm at the same time. Just got to rock through that clan castle. Hogs are now in, sprinkled, two per defense all on the outside. Early heal goes down, take care of them in that little clustered section. And there's not a heck of a lot left of this base. The hogs are just going to continue to work their way through. Once this sweeper goes down, that expo does not stand a chance. There goes that other heal. Three heals was so crucial on this on this raid. So that's why it was good. Like you knew, I they probably knew that bomb was there, so pre-healed a little bit almost for the bomb. Um, but just wrecked this base. Nice job, life. Valks and uh, King doing tons of work. Ability on the queen finally goes down. Swag poison. Beautiful. Tree stars in the bag for life. Nice. I got one more, I think. One more, or is that it? No, oh, one more. Oh, yes. My top chef, buddy. Good old Polly here. <clears throat> Brings a different kind of attack. Um, 
going with uh, this little like queen charge uh, with a Lalo. I really thought this was a creative attack. Uh, he's going to get in uh, inside this compartment, I believe. You know what? I'm just going to let this play out for a little bit because I'm not 100%. I didn't think I, th I didn't think he broke this wall because that air defense is just wide in the open. So he just kind of works his queen down into here. But then I think bus open the wall here. I could be wrong. So Queens is going to work through this stuff. Like I said, her goal right now is to get that air defense, uh, get the CC taken care of. Um, and keep in mind, you know, he's only got uh, two lava hounds, right? So <clears throat> um, he's got to have a plan for another one of those air defense. I'm not 100%. Uh, maybe. Okay, so I'm just going to let this play out. <laughs> um, so, but great value on this little queen charge, right? That's a very poor note for that guy to leave because Paul really exploits this, right? So, bam, now down is going to go with the king. Kind of almost has to double raids there. Uh, just charge her raid in. There we go, yeah. Uh, doesn't even bring, doesn't even use wall breakers. <laughs> Love it. Down goes the queen. Down goes that second air defense. Just insane value on this little queen charge. Doesn't even bring wall breakers for it. I love it. So Hound goes in. Going to just bring in all these balloons sprinkled in all around the outside of the base. King's going to be in there doing some cleanup because he really didn't do anything this whole raid. Hound is about to burst right when the loons get there. Nice freaking job, Paul. Down goes the expo. Down goes the whiz tower. See you later, base. Tree stars in the bag for my top chef buddy Paul. All right, so um, tough four. What can I say? You know, the guys fell short. It's gonna happen. One thing I'm gonna say, you know, 2.0 has been struggling with this as well. This is a new game for us. Uh, I don't want to make excuses because we're obviously always striving to be better. But um, a lot of our town hall tens. And obviously the Town Hall 11s are still new, right? I mean, you know, for even those guys that may have gemmed to max Town Hall 11, it's still a, a new kind of game and things are getting worked out. And, um, you know, it's going to happen. We got so many people moving up to 10 and the game is changing. And you can really tell that slowly but surely Town Hall 10 is going to be the new, the new thing where, you know, they really got to balance it because they they really still have some work to do on the balancing. Um, but it's obviously possible to, to three-star Town Hall 10s, and that's going to be the new game eventually. That's obviously going to take time. Like everyone's got to get there. You know, all the practice, uh, things are going to change. And who knows how the game balance is going to change too as, as time goes on. But um, anyhow, so it's been a tough week for both clans. Um you know, we had uh, 2.0 had like three wars in a row, just random matchups, uh, you know. So been a long week, and we got some uh, more content coming up for the weekend as well. Uh, plus me and Katic did another Slay My Base today. That was awesome. Uh, so, yeah, guys, I think I'm going to call it a night. That'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help you bag that next tree star. And until then, Ramon.